if your family were to come to Kensington looking for you today, will you welcome your family? No, I would hide from them. What's up guys welcome back to the channel AML films and we out there and look who I got today guys the most requested person from the channel is Miss Bree what's up Bree how you doing today girl I'm all right <laughs> oh it's great to see you okay. what's been going on with you Bree how's life it's all right life's all right mm -hmm. what's new what's new in your life Nothing. Same old, same old? Yes. What's going on in Kensington? Um, I don't know. A lot of people around here are pretty angry. Trying to follow you around. Oh. Beat you up for no reason. Has anything changed in your life? As far as like your habit? Um, no. Hmm. Are you still having struggle with um with fentanyl? Are you still battling the addiction? No, I don't battle it. No. Nah. I'm fine with it. You fine with it? Yeah. Has has your habit increased or decreased? Um I don't know. I think it's the same. Hmm. So how much you spend every day on buying drugs? Like a hundred for me, a hundred for another person. Your husband? Are that you still way. are you still with your husband yet? Hmm. How's your living situation? Do you have a place to stay currently? Yeah. Okay. So how long do you think you're gonna keep on living this life, Bree? You a nice girl. You you don't seem like you you're happy down here anymore. Are you happy down here? Oh no. No. Well, sometimes. <laughs> what sometimes. makes you happy? Um, I can't decide. It just comes on. Hmm. If your family were to come to Kensington looking for you today, will you welcome your family? No, I would hide from them. Why? Because I don't. I don't like them. They talk too much. They you talk don't. too much stupid stuff behind your back and then they try to be nice to your face. Mm -hmm. They double team you. I don't like people who double team people. So what is it that make you want to keep on taking drugs, Bree? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How many times have you OD? Um, <clears throat> not a lot. Like how many will you say? I mean, you wake up, right? We all wake up. Are you? I don't know. I don't want to be saying that. And then. Are you afraid of dying, Bree? No. You have any message unless you want? Unless it's gonna hurt. Oh unless yeah, unless it's, it's gonna, gonna hurt. hurt. I know it is gonna hurt. Has anything bad happened to you recently out here in Kensington? A couple of bad things. Can you tell us some? What happened? No. Just one, please. <laughs> this girl chased me down the street, and then she um, she punched me in the back of the neck. And all I was trying to do was walk away from her. She said I looked at her funny. She just said, "Don't look at me like that," because she was I don't know I don't know what she was doing. But, uh... Then she followed me up and down the street talking shit to me. And swung at the back of my head. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bree. Right? <laughs> That's <I'm laughs> probably a hater. A Bree hater, you know? 
What do you think needs to be done in Kensington to help with this drug problem? I don't think it's that big of a problem. I don't think it is. You don't think so? I think it's all right. The people who don't do drugs, how do they treat the addicts? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I hope they don't look at me like that. I don't bother them, right? Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing about being a drug addict? Doing it with another person. I didn't hear you. Doing it with another person. Mm -hmm. So if you could change one thing about your day, what would it be? Oh, I would have slept longer today. I would have um, came out at like 2 p.m. instead of 9.30. I hate the morning. But then I would have missed this, so I don't want to change it. Do you regret not seeing your family? No. I did everything I could. No, I don't have to do it. So, a couple months ago, your brother came looking for you. How you, how you feel about that? Oh yeah, I remember. Which, I see him around sometimes. You see your brother around? I see him around, yeah, I don't talk to him. Why not? He's a double teamer, I don't like that. He'll so turn everyone against me and then come ask me for money. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> I hate seeing that kind of stuff. Do you plan on going to rehab anytime, Bree? Do you plan on getting um, clean? If I need to, if I wind up there. No, I hope not. I you, hope don't, not. you don't plan on leaving Kensington any day to get your, your normal life? You don't want a normal life, Bree? You want a normal life, right? No, I think this is pretty normal. So this is to clear up the rumors. <laughs> are, are you pregnant, Bree? No, I'm not pregnant. There you go, I think guys. I was, though. You, you think you but, was? Yeah, it's all right. Not. No mm -hmm. baby. Okay. I didn't see him. So are you still in? Are you still doing dates? Um. I don't know. No. So Bree, when you found out you was addicted to drugs. Why you kept on taking them? Why didn't you stop? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, the same reason. I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember how old you were when you first started using drugs? Yes. How old were you? Well, I would have started when I was 10, but they don't let 10 year olds start, do they? What was your first drug of choice? Cocaine. And how were you introduced King? I knew a dealer. How long did it take before you moved on to harder drugs? Mm. Um, maybe a couple years to find them. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the day you tried heroin? Sure. Oh, I just couldn't keep my eyes open. Somebody um, shot you up? No, I don't think the first time. No. So who introduced you to like to IV? A friend, then another friend. Do you do you hate that friend? Do you do you resent that person? I don't resent him. I hate one of them. I hate him so bad. He's Have not. you been in a rehab before? Yeah, of course. What made you decide to leave? It's better to go sober, right? Right. So how many rehabs have you been in? I don't know, five, maybe. What are some treatments have you been on? You been on Suboxone? No. What about um, methadone? Yeah. How long were you on methadone for? Um... Maybe a month and a half. So what are some things that trigger you into using drugs? 
anything. Anything? I mean, it always makes you feel better, right? <laughs> so have you found using drugs has changed you as a person? Has no. it changed you? So you, you're still the same person you were before the drugs? Mm -hmm. Have you had any more, have you had any other bad dating experience out here? No. Have you had a best dating experience? Yes. Can you tell tell me about it? I don't want to share it. Okay, Bree. Now, Bree, if you can give an advice to anyone who's thinking about coming to Kensington, what advice would you give them? Um, I can't give them any advice. They would just have to come here and make all their mistakes themselves. What about people who use drugs occasionally? What advice do you have for those people? None. Mm -hmm. How do you stay safe out here, Bree? I try to um, do the right thing, make the next right move. I try not to bother people who look scary. What do you have to say to all your supporters out there who've been asking about you? I don't know. I don't go on the internet. Bree, if you had $10,000, if somebody gave you $10,000 today, what would you do with it? I would put it in a whole bunch of categories. I would just uh, spread it all around. I mean, I would get everything I needed. No, I wouldn't get anything I needed because people would just rob me. So, how many what? times have you? How many times have you been robbed in Kensington? Not really. Nobody. I mean, not officially. Yeah. Who knows? I don't want to look into it. Honestly. As a child growing up, do your parents tell you to stay away from drugs? Uh, sure. Yeah, they did. You did? When was the last time you did something nice for yourself? I do something nice for myself every day. Like, like, what are some things that you do? I don't know. I take care of myself. <laughs> That's take good. A I pay for myself. That's nice. Okay. But I put me first, so. Bree, if you could fly or you could be invisible, which one would you pick? Flying. Why? Because it seems like it'd be fun, right? To fly, right? I don't want to be invisible. I definitely don't. Okay. And I don't want anybody invisible around me. Do you treat yourself with love? Of course. There's too many people in the world who will treat you bad. So, I'll let them do it. Okay. When was the last time you learned something new? I don't know. You don't remember? Are you holding on to something that you need to let go? Probably. What is it? What I do you, don't know. You don't know? <laughs> hmm? When was the last time you read a book? Read a book? A book, yeah. A couple of days ago. That's nice. What was the name of the book? Oh, it was, um, well, I didn't really understand it. Yeah. I only have three books at home. One is the Sow Your Seed, Sow Your Seed, right? Mm -hmm. The three most important things in life. How to Win an Argument and the, um, the Muslim Bible. <laughs> but. I can't understand that Bible. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Okay. So when was the last time you made a new friend? Yesterday. Yesterday. Who was the one person that you can talk to about anything? 
myself. Can you be by yourself what, without feeling lonely? Only for a couple hours. Okay. What are some things that you are passionate about? Mm. I don't know. What do you want people to remember about you? Um, I don't, it doesn't matter if they remember me, really. Then they'll think too much about me, then I'll have problems. What are you most thankful for? Mm. Freedom. When you were a little girl, what do you want to become when you grow up? I don't know, I was wrong. Hmm. I chose the worst things. I tried them, but I didn't like it. Hmm. So, daytime or nighttime, which one are you? I like the nighttime better. Why? Because it's quieter, it's cooler. What's your favorite sound? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Silence, I like silence. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite smell you like? What's your favorite smell? Soap. You are in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. What do you look for in a partner? I'm not looking. Word. You know, if you were looking for somebody, what type of guys do you like? Um, I don't know. don't know. I don't like to notice anybody. Okay, got you. They notice me. What's your favorite clothing store? Oh, I go to Mad Rag. <laughs> the clothes don't last that long, though. Yeah. When was the last time you heard somebody say, I love you? today yeah what does happiness mean to you when you hear happiness what does that mean to you mm, I don't know that's too deep for me mm. at the end of the night when you go to sleep what are some things that you dream about mm. the next day the yeah. next day Bree if you had three wishes in this world what would your three wishes be I can't tell you, right? It won't come true. <laughs> Can you tell me one of your three wishes? Just one? I really want my wish. You want what? I really want it to come true. Well, but I don't wish that much, so. Hmm. Okay, guys, so it's time to wrap things up with the lovely Brie. I will continue to do updates on her when I, if I see her out here. But thank you guys so much. Bree, do you have any last words you want to say to your supporters that's been asking about you? No. <laughs> there she go, guys. That's Bree. You know she's a tough cookie. But we love her. We love you, Bree. I just want you to know that. No matter what, we love you, okay? Okay. Okay, guys. So, AML Films, and we out there. Peace out. Bree, what are some things that you're in need of that we can help you with? Nothing, I'm good. No resources to go to rehab or anything? No, I'm good. <laughs> there, you heard it from Bree. Okay, guys, peace out. Quiet's driving me insane. Silence rattles in my brain.